Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this uh, example, we're going to find the magnitude and the direction angle of a vector. And this is a, an, another way to see a vector, which we call a linear combination. Okay, the, you notice here the i is the unit vector and the x-axis and j is the unit vector and the y-axis. A very simple way to change this guy if you do not like it is to change it in the component form which is 3 and negative 4. If you like this form, which I do like more than do this uh, change in this notation. Right? And now for finding the magnitude I'm going to use this formula since we have the component form and we have square root of 3 square plus negative 4 square. And that will be 9 plus 16, right? Which will be square root of 25. The magnitude, sorry, I shouldn't put that way. The magnitude of vector B will be 5. And now for finding the direction angle, my first thing is to do a sketch. Okay? And I'm looking here, the vector is 3 and negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So these in quadrant 4, so I need to be careful because the angle theta is this guy. Okay, and now what I'm going to find first is this angle. And if you look at that triangle, I'm going to use only positive number even though this one should be negative, right? It's 4 down, 3. And this is 5. So let's say you like these positive numbers to do what I'm doing. And we're going to calculate first this angle. I'm going to call it x. Okay. So we have choices here. We can use sine, cosine, or tangent. Let's say you want to use um, tangent. Tangent of x will be opposite, which is 4 over 3. In order to find the x, we're going to use the inverse function at tangent, and then we're going to use a calculator. And I end up with an angle x of 53 degree, 53.1 degree. I round it to the nearest time. Okay, well again, don't forget this is this angle we have here. How, when, how are we going to find the, the uh, direction angle? We're going to subtract from 360, right, 53.1. So again, it's very important to, in my opinion, to make a sketch to know in what quadrant you are and how you're going to find that direction angle. Because the direction angle is the angle made with the positive x axis. So 360 minus 53.1, 306.9. This is the direction angle. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button. We'll come back on C square for more help. Thank you.